Bonjour, y'all. Today we're going to talk about doing some yoga to help with migraines. I suffer from migraines and I know many people that do, so we're going to go over some gentle yoga poses that's going to help with that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a nice, easy, seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, roll your shoulders up and down. Take a few breaths sitting here. And we're gonna focus a lot on breathing today. So we're gonna do two breathing techniques first. That's gonna help just bring that breath into the body and kind of relieve some of that tension that migraines cause. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our index fingers and we're gonna find the cartilage that sits right between our ears and our face. And we're gonna put our fingers there and we're gonna take a deep inhale and on your exhale, you're gonna gently push down into that cartilage and exhale. Release, inhale, push down and exhale. We're gonna do that a total of eight times. So we've done two. Release, inhale, press, exhale. Release, inhale, press, exhale. Release, inhale, press, exhale. Two more times. Release, inhale, Press, exhale. And last one, release. Inhale, and press, exhale. And hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit more relaxed at this point. So the next one we're gonna do is call wave breath. We're gonna put one hand on our chest and one hand on our belly. Finding that nice, comfortable seated position up nice and tall. And we're going to take a long, slow inhale, filling the belly up, then the chest, holding at the top, and then releasing nice and slow, keeping our hands here. Inhale, holding at the top. And then exhale. On your exhale, you should feel your belly deflate first, and then the air will come out of your chest. Inhale, belly fills up, followed by the chest, holding at the top, and exhale. Belly first, then the chest. And six more times like that. Two more breaths. Last one. Nice job. 
through your hands, we're going to come into an embryo pose. It's a lot like a child's pose. So we're going to make our way onto our tabletop position. I'm going to take the knees a little bit wider than hip distance apart. I'm going to sink the hips back to the heels. And instead of reaching our arms forward, we're going to take them behind us, placing our head on the mat. Now, if you need a pillow or anything like that under your head, that's perfectly fine. We want you to be comfortable in this position. We're going to take eight breaths here as well. Once you have completed your eight breaths, come on back up. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our way into a tabletop. We're going to do cat cows for eight breaths. So on your inhale, you're going to drop your belly towards the floor, allowing your chest to open up. And on an exhale, you're reversing that motion. Tailbone tucks, chin tucks, back arches slightly. We're making sure that our hands and wrists are under our shoulders and knees are under our hips. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the back. Nice job. All right, so now we're going to come back to our seated position. Whatever comfortable seated position is good for you. And we're going to do eagle arms. Now, basically what that means is we're going to wrap one arm under the other and the wrist goes around. And we're going to take eight breaths here and then we're going to switch sides. Make sure your breaths are full. 
emptying the air out completely on the exhales. And then we're going to switch sides. So the opposite arm is going under. And eight breaths here. All right, from here, we're going to take our left leg out long. We're going to keep the right foot pressed into the thigh of that left leg. We're going to shift our body so we're facing the left foot. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, we're going to begin to fold forward, finding the space where your body stops. And we're going to breathe eight breaths. Once you've reached your eighth breath, you can sit up and we're going to switch sides. We're going to take the right leg out, left foot comes to the inside of that right thigh, shifting the body so we're facing the right foot, sitting up nice and tall. And on your exhale, hinging at the hips, finding the place where the body comfortably stops. And make your eight breaths.
to sit back up. And the next thing we're going to do is a modified hero pose. So if you have a yoga block, cushion, something like that, um, not everybody's body is made to do a full hero's pose with your knees back like this. So we're going to use the yoga block to lift our hips, allowing our knees to bend and our feet to go behind us. All right, so you can bring them in, whatever's comfortable for you, sitting up nice and tall. And we're simply gonna take and dropping our right ear to our right shoulder. And we're gonna take eight breaths here. These are nice, slow, controlled breaths. And after your eighth breath, we're going to switch sides, dropping the left ear to the left shoulder. And you might feel a little bit more tight on one side than the other, and that's normal. And we'll begin our eighth breaths. Nice. All right, coming back up to a seated position. We're going to remove the block or cushion or whatever you have underneath you. And we're going to go into a supported bridge. So if you have that cushion now, we're going to make our way onto our backs. And we're going to have that cushion go right at the top of the hip line. All right, just like that. And you can have your knees bent or stretched out, whichever is more comfortable for you. And we're just going to breathe. Eight breaths.
when she reached that eighth breath. We're gonna come back up, removing the cushion from underneath us, laying back down. And we're gonna keep our right leg long, keeping the left leg bent. And we're gonna allow that left leg to fall over to the right side. If you need to shift your hips, you can. Don't pull too hard. This is just a gentle supine twist. If you need to put the cushion behind your back to keep you from rolling, you can. And we're just gonna take eight breaths here. switch sides now bending the right leg left leg goes long shifting the hips allowing that right knee to fall over Coming back to center, we're going to set up our Shavasana. You can lay your legs long or snuggle the feet together for an extended butterfly. If you need to, you can put a small cushion under your knees. Let's go ahead and get all the wiggles out in a nice, comfortable position. We're going to hold this for a while. Go ahead and close your eyes and start to focus on the breath, noticing how it feels as the breath moves into your nostrils and how it feels as your belly and your lungs fill up. And then noticing how it feels as it travels back up and out through the nostrils. Notice any sensations in the room. Is the air cool? Is it warm? Is there a breeze? Notice how your body feels lying on the mat or on the floor. Feeling how gravity feels as it pulls you down. There's no need to fight against it. Just allow the body to lie on the mat and absorb everything that you've done today. Hopefully you've began to relax. Continue to notice the sensations. 
allowing your mind to ease. Shavasana. Begin to bring some awareness back into the body and start by wiggling your toes and rotating your ankles, point and flex the feet, stretching the legs out, and wiggling the fingers, rotating the wrists. Taking the arms long, taking the arms overhead, and a huge big stretch, and we'll roll over to your favorite side for just a moment, keeping the eyes closed if you can. When you're ready, we'll slowly come back up to a seated position, slowly so we don't get dizzy, and maintain the peacefulness that we have created. Inhale the arms up overhead, exhale, hands come down to heart center. And I thank you for allowing me to help you ease some of the tension that comes along with migraines and headaches. Always remember that you are worthy, you are strong, you are loved, and gently bow. 
Namaste. Any of us that have experienced headaches and migraines know the tension and uncomfortableness that comes along with them. Or sensitive to light and get nauseous. And it creates a very hard time for us to function throughout the day. And many times there are people like myself that will fight through it and continue to do work even though we feel terrible. These practices are meant to take some time for yourself and try and ease some of that tension and take away some of that stress and be present for yourself, not just for everyone else. A lot of times we forget that, that we need to take care of ourselves before we can properly take care of anyone else. So I hope you like what you've seen here and I hope you've learned anything. If you've liked everything, learned anything, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Wellness for Everybody.